All right, Cobalt Clan Wars analysis on fjords. Um, the first thing I'm noticing is running a hardener. Uh, I prefer not running hardeners on chieftains. Um, and then as well as not running food either. That's another strange thing to do. Speed this up a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna do a little bit of a free camp first. Alright, so it's the two one forties, yep. Two SBs, three CS, okay. Okay, so mini guy spots their EBR. Okay. So here is where they want to stop. They lit one guy, and they're never going to have one guy push this. So here is when he should have said all the chief and stop and 140 stop and then come up. Well, let me draw. Come up to here. Why won't it let me draw? What the fuck? Alright, yeah. Chieftains come up this way, and then we play that upper area over here. So, the 140s would be peaking right there. The Chieftains would be holding this high ground here. That way, your serve will be in the fight if they decide to push. But he doesn't tell his team to stop. And then he stops. So... I'm kind of confused at why Tom But as you can see, they waited for you to jump on that one chieftain and go into the dip before they pulled their IS-7s in as well. There you see a little bit of bad aim. And then they also came from the top here. So what you should be doing is telling your 140s to sit against that ridge and telling your chieftains to get up on that ridge to block it off. Um, because I'm going to explain that farther. So why you want to block off this top road is because you should be sending your CSs to quick cap them since you know that all of their guys are over here. With that, you can block off the top road here since that's the fastest way back to the cap. And then your CSs can sit behind the rock that's over here on the base. So you're, you're effectively just buying time for cap. Especially since they brought E3s, those are also going to slow down their team because they're blocking the path right now. But as you're fighting this, like if you serve, you don't need to defense, no one else. So his gun is, in a way, pretty useless. You sent your CS's to kill the Sturv, that's good. But you see how they're bringing that chieftain out? Had you had all of your chieftains come up to this road and push through it, they wouldn't have been able to get that chieftain out. Um, and then your CS's are failing to kill the Sturv. Instead, you're not realizing what's happening behind you. So right now, you're sending in CS's into a haul down fight with IS 7s and Chieftains, which is never gonna work. And then you're so focused on the people in front of you that you're not willing to survive so that you can keep farming. And the more that these IS 7s push in, or are able to push in, the less your serve is allowed to shoot. So that's why you would want to bring people over on the other side of the hill here right over here. That way if they push in, your Sturve has infinite shots and there's no risk of him getting lit back there. Um, and then if you take this, you don't have to worry about this because your 140s will farm anyone going back. You would just have to worry about them coming this way. And you could even push over your chieftains that way to take that high ground and then the 140s could go to the cap as well. It's just a mistake bringing in the heavies. Because they're not, they're not the heaviest fighting as well. The heavies have more HP, they have more armor, and the CS 
is a little soft target. Your chieftain that took the top ridge there, Dayel, he shouldn't be peeking where he is right now. He should be peeking from up there. Up there, he can shoot the E3 safely. Um, and I know that he could have gotten up there because he was behind that body in the first place. And then, had they had to um, push up to get Dale, they would have had to go around that body, which would have given them more time to farm. And your EBR is still alive, which is important. I'm pretty sure he's going to die soon. Um, but Tamini guy should be up here on the hill and not down here because the Sturve is able to light for himself. And then if he's up on the hill, he can shoot the guys in the side, which might be where he's going right now. Again, Deo really, really needed to pull back a lot sooner because now they're able to push him and pen him immediately. And there's a, he, he's going to lose a lot of HP here. And still, he's peeking. He doesn't need to be peeking that, he just needs to be hiding behind the body and just buying time right now. Because all that you need to do is make them make the mistake and give you some So like that E3, the stir is And they pushed up past the body. See, now had he been around here, he could have shot around and they wouldn't have been able to take the body at all. Plus, if he was sitting here, he would have had shots on the E3 while it was over there, and shots on these guys down here. And then your Sturve is about to die, um, and Mini Guy is still doing something. I'm not too sure what the EBR is doing. The Sturve is doing good at staying up high, he needs to continue to stay up high, but he should be in the corner there. Really wish that you went to their bodies. He should be in the corner, so that the IS-7 couldn't shoot him in the side up there. And then to mini guy got himself stuck there, he should have gone up the hill, and then that would have given him an out to continue playing the game. Had Mini Guy gone up to the hill, he probably could have kept going up and around the hill to get resets on base. Eventually, he would have gotten him lower on HP, especially if he was carrying heat. But yeah, the uh, the game was pretty much lost the second you brought the mediums in to fight over here, and when you didn't have the chieftains take this upper ridge. If a team is going to counter push you one way, you want to con continue going away from them to get better ground. Had you gotten all your chieftains up here, and then you had the CSs back there killing the Sturve, they could have gone capped, and these chieftains would have kept them in this dip. The only people that they would have been allowed to bring back would have been the E3s. And E3s are way too slow that if you got the CSs capping behind the rock here, your STBs could have taken this high ground and just perma-tracked them as the E3s tried to get back. Um, the other thing is, your mediums didn't focus on the Sturve enough. They all just had to shoot them once. And they might have shot them, but they didn't pen. Um... Other than that, it was just little plays at the end that really messed up a lot of the potential to win the game again. Like, Mini Guy could have ran up to the hill and gotten shots on them while they were over here fighting that. And then Deo could have been up on the ridge here. And then he would have had shots on everyone while remaining hull down. And then he would have came over to that rock right there, and that would have prevented them from doing anything with that body. And that would have resulted in getting a lot more damage, and the Sturf might have been able to clean up then. But it, it wasn't miserable, it was just little things. Um, I think if you would have stopped the guys from going into the dip and not taking their bait, that would have been a lot better. 
because then you would have had this high ground out here and then your sterve was still back up there so he would have been able to shoot had they tried to come up and around like that and you could have still sent your cs's down this way and then still gotten on the cap and a 140s here would be able to crossfire anything there um if they didn't see you pushing in the dip i would fully believe that those is7s would have came all the way around and pushed through here and they would have just kept going through the city here towards your cap. What you would do then is you would have left the STBs up here. Um, even though if you, they were going for a fast cap, they could also come through. Got it. Why won't it let me ping sometimes? That is so weird. All right. And it won't let me do it again. Whatever. They would have came through this high ground up here. And then the STBs could have taken control of this, and then you could have repushed the Chieftains to take that if their IS-7s were going for the base over here. Um, mainly because with the Sturve up here, those IS-7s are forced to cross over that field to try and get them, because you can't cap when there's still a TD alive. Um, and then you would have had plenty of time to kill all of that all of the guys in the dips because they had a lot more 277s and IS-7s than they did Chieftains and E3s. Um, the other thing is, is once you were in this dip, the 140s should have really been against the wall there instead of going up on top like they did because they're mainly there just to DPM and track and they can't really do that if they're in ramming if they're in a way where the IS-7s could just ram into them or get around them, because then they're not going to live long enough to actually work their DPM. The 140s died very quickly. <coughs> oh, God. Um, but it was just, it was mostly a mix of not doing stuff correctly and not being fast enough reaction time to call people away. But other than that, it was it was a good try. And that'll be the end of the first game. Or er, first analysis. <laughs>